The next speaker is Penilla Sandvall, CEO at Wint Research. Welcome. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Looking forward to present our research uh, with Foxy5 and the company. And for myself, uh, I'm a pharmacist by training and before joining Wint, uh, I was at uh, Index Pharmaceuticals as their chief operating officer for 10 years. It's an SME company at the Karolinska Institute campus. And prior to that, when more than 20 years at Merck & Company and MS Sweden, it's, a, it's one of the large pharma companies based in US. So with this as a background, I joined WIND and I'm very happy, as I said, to um, share with you our research and we are preventing the metastatic process. Uh, the company is listed and a public company on Spotlight, so this is our disclaimer. What I really want you to remember is this slide. And FOXY5 is a, a unique drug candidate and it's in clinical phase 2 development for colon cancer. And it has the potential to prevent the spread of cancer. Um, there is a high met need for this uh, stage 2 and 3 uh, treatment of colon cancer. Uh, it has a significant commercial opportunity. So if we are to treat 65,000 patients a year, which is not the entire population, it is not the only population we could potentially treat, but if we are to treat 65,000 patients, that means a yearly revenue of more than 500 million US dollars. We have ad hoc analysis, and this showed that um, FOXY5 had an effect on tumor progression, and we measured that by invasive behavior of the tumor and also indicating a downstaging of the disease. So far, FOXY5 has a very favorable side effect profile, and I think when you know about cancer treatment, this is extremely important. Um, there is also an opportunity. We have started with colon cancer with FOXY5, but there is a possibility to use FOXY5 in additional cancer types. So those are the key messages, and I'm going to get into more details to each of those, explaining a little further. Metastatic process, preventing metastasis to be formed. I think cancer is a complex area if you're not in the field, really. But I like this uh, analogy with a dandelion. And if you think of the bloomed uh, stand of seeds as the primary tumor, and then the seed could easily spread and be scattered around and form new dandelions. And this is a way I, th I think it's easier to, to just remember what the metastatic process is. It's the spread uh, of the cancer cells to other parts of the body. Colon cancer, so what is that? So colon, that's our last part of our intestine. And you can think of it as a flexible tube. The cancer is uh, divided into stage one to stage four. And if you're in stage one, or if the tumor is in stage one, there is very local in the, in the colon. And as the tumor grows, it gets into getting through the wall of this tube. And when uh, the tumor is a stage graded as stage four, it's actually past uh, the wall of this tube and the cancer cells have spread and formed tumors in other parts of the body. And that is the metastatic process. We are focusing on stage two and three where patients do not have metastasis yet, but they are at a high risk to get it. We have reported uh, unexpected ad hoc observations. And this was seen in 110 patients in our study. And one of the investigators made my colleague aware of this. And then we started to look deeper into this because it was unexpected. So in 110 patients means that half of them have received FOXY5 and half of them are in a control group. We could see that uh, there was a reduced spread along the nerves and along uh, the blood vessels. And there's also a reduced so-called TNM staging. It's a downstaging of the disease that was see seen in this group that received FOXY5. Those observations are actually quite large, uh, 110 patients. It's, it's, it's a lot when you're in early development. And it, they are significant, the figures. They have been made in several parameters described above. We have seen already this at surgery. So uh, this means that patients get the diagnose and then, then they are treated and they get the surgery. So it's within three to four weeks. 
And that was the unexpected, that we could see something so early. And this indicates that FOXY5 has a biological effect in patients. And this is our, uh, the founder of the company, Professor Tommy Andersson. He is also a board member and active in the, in the company. And of course, he has done uh, a lot of preclinical work and experimental studies. And to see now that we confirm what he have seen previously was really, of course, very satisfactory and also very, very interesting. I would like to describe the study for you. So this is a little too complex build, but the study was originally planned. So patients get into the study when they get the diagnose. Um, then after four weeks appro approximately, they have the surgery where they remove the tumor. And then we were to follow them for another two years to see the outcome. And treatments for the patients in active group start immediately after diagnose. So what we are doing now is that we are changing the study. So this is an amendment of the study, a protocol change. And we are going to add uh, endpoints at surgery. And we are not going to follow the patients for another two years. So those positive observation has given us uh, a lot of insights. So having such a revised study protocol, we foresee that we need additional uh, 80 patients approximately. Uh, and uh, it's not up to the company to decide how you will do the study. So we are currently in a review process by the health authority and the uh, ethical committees in uh, where we are running the study. And that is in approximately 25 clinics in Spain and in Hungary. And when we, we have those, when we have those approvals, I'm going to share exactly how the change study will look like. We expect this approval to come in, in during the summer. Um, now we will have then an op opportunity to look at surgery because ad hoc observation doesn't really count when you do clinical development. You have to have pre-specified measurements. So that's what we are adding now at surgery. This means also there's actually less capital needed to finish the study as it's another uh, two years from the last patients in. We are not uh, going to look at them that long. This year we had rights issue and we have a warrant program which takes us another year or so, I would say. When I know the study, we can tell more. And we have another warrant program coming up in September that will, will give further financing. Um, and I also want to add, now we have seen something, there is a possibility to explore other indications as well. Before you go into clinic, you have to ensure that your preclinical tox packet, it's, that's what it's called, uh, and we have, a, we have very good ones and could go into patients, obviously, as we have done that. What is also important to do is that you have your drug substance, but you also have to have a formulation that it can be given to a patient. And in our case, it's a freeze-dried tablet. And at the clinics, it's dissolved in saline and it's giving us an infusion. And we manufacture this according to good manufacturing process, as you should. We have done two phase one studies and there they looked also good. So phase one you're doing to see how the drug is distributed and it's not efficacy studies. The efficacy study is the phase two study that we are currently doing. Uh, but the phase one studies show that the drug is, uh, had a very favorable safety profile. So as today we, we have um, 100 patients treated actually and, and it looks very good. So WIND5A is a protein that is preventing metastasis to be formed, and our substance is mimicking what it's doing. So if you have a tumor with a high uh, degree or expression of WIND5A, the, the cancer cells are not spread that much. But if you have a low degree of this protein, it's spread. And I show this with the dandelion again, but you can't give uh, WIND5A as, uh, as a drug. So FOX5 is a peptide, smaller molecule, mimicking the effect of WIND5A. And we have shown this in vitro and in vivo studies. So that is when you look in cell sites and in preclinical uh, studies. And we learned a lot and we could, by those studies, confirm that, that uh, FOX5 is mimicking WIND5A. Um, there is um, approximately 1.1 million people actually get colon cancer every year. 
Out of those, many people uh, actually survive. For five years, it's 71%. But if you do get metastasis, if the patients get metastasis, the overall survival after five years is only 14%. So there is a high need for drugs in this field. But as mentioned, we could also look at other indications. For instance, patients that could potentially not get uh, other treatments, uh, other chemotherapy or a metastatic disease already not preventing further spread or totally other cancer types like prostate or breast cancer. You're a very experienced team, both when it comes to development, commercialization, uh, patent, and this is our management and our board and our scientific advisors. So with this, I would like to end. This is how I would like to see it, that the seed on this bloomed dandelion stays with the, with the flower and are not spreading. That's what we are trying to prevent. And those were the key messages that I initially uh, started with. And with this, I thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you for the presentation. And I'm wondering about your TO5 warrant, which was subscribing to over 92%, yes. right? And what does that mean for the company? The financial situation in, I think, all drug companies are difficult. Um, and any, any uh, addition of the funding is super important. And I'm very, very happy for the trust that I see that we get when you get SIA prescription rights. So, um, so I didn't really expect it to be that high. So I'm very happy with that. And thank, thank everyone who, who supported us. And how will you use this money? When we know how the study will look like um, during the summer, we can um, estimate how long it will take and what the study will cost. Focus is going to be on the study, but you also need to do, uh, there are other certain things that you can do. And we have to prioritize when we see where we're going. I see. And you recently celebrated one year as CEO of the company. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Do you like to summarize this year? Uh, it's been very interesting. I would say I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, there is a need for those uh, patients, a uh, need for a new drug. And with the ad hoc observations, I mean, luckily, in one way, uh, I've come into the company at this stage and was able to, to see that FOXY5 is really doing something uh, in patients. That's been very exciting. Uh, and also, I must say, to, it's been challenging to raise money uh, on uh, the way the situation is in the world. Uh, so those have the, been the, both learnings and, and challenging, of course. But it's been an exciting year. I see. And I'm looking forward to, to what's coming. Me too. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you.